Broadcasting live from the True Crime Today studios to the world. To the world. This is Murder in the Morning with Tony Bruschi and Stacy Cole. From the Hit Killers Podcast, Murder in the Morning. Diddy, he's uh, now been ordered to pay $100 million in a default judgment over sexual assault allegations. Surprise, surprise. Because he just didn't show up to court. A Michigan judge has ordered the hip hop mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs to pay $100 million to Derek Lee uh, Cardello Smith, a 51 year old man currently serving time in prison, by the way. The judgment stems from uh, Cardello Smith's claims that Combs drugged and sexually assaulted him during an after party in 1997. The default judgment was handed down in uh, Lewayne County Circuit Court after Combs failed to appear for the case. According to court documents obtained by CBS Detroit, Cardello Smith was a bartender at a Detroit area restaurant at the time of the alleged incident. He claimed that after the event, Combs invited him to an after party. When Sarah Cardello Smith alleges he was pursued or pressured rather to engage in sexual activity with multiple women. The document further states that after drinking alcohol given to him by Combs, Cardello Smith passed out. The most shocking part of the claim is Cardello Smith's account of what he says happened when he regained consciousness. He alleged that he woke to find Combs having sex with a woman. According to the court filing, Combs repeatedly said to Cardello Smith, I did this to you too. While the ruling is a significant blow to Combs, the legal team is uh, preparing a robust defense. Mark Agnifilo, Combs' attorney, strongly commended the judge or condemned the judgment and called the claims entirely fabricated. Quote, the man is a convicted felon and a sexual predator, (laughs) which happens to be probably what your client's going to be very soon, too, who has been sentenced on 14 counts of sexual assault and kidnapping over the last 26 years. Agnifilo told CBS News his resume, or he, he, uh, yeah, his resume now includes committing a fraud on the court from prison. Mr. Combs has never heard of him, let alone been served with any lawsuit. Mr. Combs looks forward to having this judgment swiftly dismissed. Cardello Smith's criminal record became a focal point in Combs' defense. Currently incarcerated, Cardello Smith has been convicted of those numerous charges, including that criminal sexual conduct and kidnapping, which has led uh, Combs' legal team to question the credibility of his accusations. Combs is no longer, uh, is no stranger, rather, to legal battles, and this case adds to a growing list of accusations against the music mogul. In recent months, multiple women, of course, have accused him of sexual assault and abuse, while Combs denies all the allegations. Some of the cases have resulted in settlements. Uh, One high-profile lawsuit from Cassie, we know about this one, uh, who alleged rape and physical abuse during her relationship with, with Combs was settled last year. Of course, he denied all of that, and then the video came out. It's like, oh, well, it was true. Another man has also accused Combs of sexual misconduct, which his legal team has dismissed as pure fiction. The latest ruling also comes amidst increasing public scrutiny on Combs. New York City Mayor Eric Adams recently called on Combs to return the key to the city, which he was awarded during a Times Square ceremony in September of 23. The event consi- uh, conceded with uh, the uh, release of Combs' album, The Love Album, off the grid. Despite the controversy, Combs remains one of the most successful figures in hip hop. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if I believe this one, but it is kind of par for the course for a lot of the stories that people and accusations that people have made against him. Uh, it, it it doesn't sound that different, quite honestly. No, it doesn't. But I'm I'm really a bit confused as to how a judge ordered a hundred million dollars to be paid to this man. Was there a trial? No, he didn't show up. So it's a, a judgment that, that just goes into effect. If you just don't show up for your trial. So they, he just doesn't. So, wow. How lucky, you know, and if you're in jail, if you're in prison and you and now have a hundred million dollars, I mean, I think last night the uh, mega millions was 800 million or something like that. I mean, it, so it'd be like hitting the mega millions. Well, he doesn't have the money. I mean, this is, you know, OJ also never paid out anything to the Goldmans over the course of 30 some years either. That's Uh, true. So he has the judgment, which will probably be reversed or something. Although it may stick. I don't know. I mean, because again, it, the accusations don't sound that different than what already has been out there. But again, he could have just made up these accusations too to sound like other ones. That's not beyond the scope of possibility. This guy doesn't exactly sound like the most, uh, you know, uh, 
<laughs> uh, on uh, the uh, uh, up in a uh, what word am I looking for here? Just uh, respectable, I guess, with all the other accusations against him and charges that are against him. I don't mm -hmm. think it's beyond the scope of uh, understanding that he may have made some of this up. But you don't know with with all of this with Diddy's stuff. They they could very well be true. I man, what what a story! It just every time I click on like the topic of Diddy, I've got it saved in my Google News. So there's something new. I mean, this guy is just. He is surrounded by drama. Yeah. And he will be for the rest of his life. Yeah. And the, the thing is, and there are people, of course, who make fake allegations, but it's kind of hard when to tell, you know, what's, you know, who's crying wolf in this when there's a lot that seems to be very accurate about Diddy and the darkness that surrounds him. I wonder when the final straw is going to happen. Uh, I don't know. I, I still kind of wonder if he's going to disappear somewhere before that happens. I don't know how he's going to pull that off, but I could see him trying to do that. Uh, and I would think probably late this year, early next, I think is probably when they will be the big, uh, swoop in and, and make the arrests. But who knows? He's, he's dodged a lot of things his whole life. So we shall see. You're in the thick of a true crime saga, every detail sinking in, and then, wham, a commercial about something you couldn't care less about. It's like being served a microwaved dinner at a five-star restaurant. But it doesn't have to be this way. Go for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. With True Crime Today Premium Plus, you get uninterrupted, ad-free episodes, extended interviews that dig even deeper into the muck, and early access so you can brag to your friends. It's like ordering the secret menu at a crime buffet. So, search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and savor every twisted detail without interruption.